Hello and welcome to JW Solar USA. In today's video, I want to show you how to make custom battery terminal slash bus bar for your solar battery bank. Uh, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 volt nominum. If you're just tuning in, you're welcome to the channel. And this is how I want to show you I have two or three sets of different materials here which you guys already knew from your previous install so um, one of them I'm gonna introduce to you these are the standard bus bars like anyone else know in the battery industry or solar industry you can buy these at um, you know Amazon eBay and all these other outlets out there so you see you can able to have a four terminals here but look at the um the the metal on this you can see how thick it is this is just a thin metal that um is not going to take a higher current which is uh, amperage you need to beef this one up if you're going to uh different um what's the the capacity or the volume of the battery bank and here you can able to customize different boss bars. You guys seen that on my previous videos and just a DIY project. So you can use uh, custom made and use a stainless steel metal right here. You can pick up at Lowe's, Menards, and uh, Home Depot, your local hardware store, and try to customize and match. If you have a bench press, you can able to customize and make anything different configuration for your battery bank for DIY project low pro low budget uh, if you have uh, running on a low budget you can able to utilize some of these materials you don't have to go with the um, hardcore materials that cost a lot of money but if you try to be a DIYer you can able to customize and improvise anything for your battery specifications so what i have here you guys can see another set of um a stainless steel these are robust these are just uh, beefy tough hardware i'm setting up for my new um, installation so back here you can see it's all custom made it's all welded uh nuts on a stainless steel the holes are already pre-drilled and you can mount this in any application getting a, a a nut no you're having a bolt going here from here get it all the way like a stud and bolt this thing all the way in so you can able to suspend it on the wall or whatever you want to mount this device and you just have to tie your different how many banks do you have in parallel so after series all your batteries you can able to put your charge controller and how many banks of batteries you have one two three charge controller inverter and other things you can able to add more pre or drill other holes here for your next application that's uh if it's suitable for you so a lot of things here you can do i just want <clears throat> to show you how you can save a lot of money by diy your project sometimes you want to buy this stuff you can get them at a store because you know going up to about 250 400 or 300 amp hours or a thousand amp hours it takes some good good strong metal copper is expensive you guys know these are stainless steel you can able to double this thing up beef them up make them really tough you know two of them in parallel like this they can take any abuse any voltage you're good so you don't have to worry about anything so that's why i'm doing my custom made thing just to show you guys today how things go in here in the channel with the jw solar usa in minnesota and another thing i want to show you here i picked up some of these aluminum bars and which is uh really good for solar application you can cut this ones if you have a, a bench press or whatever a cutter you can able to cut these things right for mounting solar panels 
So this is going to be like your um, things that you can buy from you know, Amazon, eBay, how to mount your solar panels. But for my application, I'm going to be using this. I, you guys have seen my DIY solar panels I have. You know, I don't really do for my test. You know, you see those two Renogy 50 watt solar panels that um, I'm trying to incorporate two more to these uh, applications. So I can able to mount them. The holes already pre-drilled, so you guys can, can see here. And there's another one here. And I can able to put these things this way and mount the solar panels, you know, two 50 watt solar panels, double up these ones. And for portable DIY projects, I can able to take them anywhere I want. And it's gonna be a really professional look for my application. So I don't have to, I don't have to worry anymore about some flimsy um, mount and all the good stuff. But this is what I have for you guys today. Remember, you can get this one. So you can pick up the number here in Lowe's or Menards, Home Depot. Of course, they're made in China. So. Hey, whatever works for you, you got to deal with that, okay? So we are not here talking about any um, countries or whatever. Metals are good or something. Metals are metals. So if your DIYer, you DIYer, know, low budget, you can able to use that towards your application. Anything that works for you, that's my greatest concern. At this point, you've seen this one in action with the Stevie B Rockstar um, installation. And you've seen this on different solar application. So these are all the stuff that I have for you for this uh, project. And make sure um, you subscribe, like, and share. I hope this video helps someone and share this video. Okay? All right. See you on the next one. JW Solar USA. Bye for now.